Welcome back. Um, it just dawned on me I might not have a really compelling way to demonstrate this. Um, but yeah, no, I have a uh, bot here that responds to commands. So like if I say define AA, we'll see here's the definition of AA. It's some uh, form of lava that has a rough surface. Now this bot also has command called custom quote, which is supposed to read a file from the disk and is supposed to respond. Um, and the, oh, <laughs> I wonder how long this ch uh, chessboard's been there. It's probably there the entire last stream. My mistake. Wow. Oh well. What can you do? Um, so, yeah. Uh, here we are. Um, so this bot here has a file called Wordsmith. And this Wordsmith is using the Twitch IO Python library to integrate with the Twitch API. And uh, part of that is involving processing of messages, uh, which are either contained in a custom commands list, or if they are not contained in that custom commands list, then are just handled the normal way that this bot would ordinarily handle a command. Um, so, what I'm concerned about is this code path here, where we find that there is a custom command, which causes a file to be read and then a particular line out of the file to be printed. Um, somehow this processing... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But if you type the custom quote in, it's not reliable. Uh, you have to type it a few times, and then eventually, sometimes it maybe returns, but usually it doesn't. Um, yeah, I don't understand why this doesn't respond. I thought that quote... Was it quote or custom quote? I can't remember anymore. But either way, it's not reliable. And I want to find some way to troubleshoot and fix that. So, uh, I guess we'll take a look at my local instance and see what insights we can derive from it. So here I've got a bot called Wordsmith. And I can run it through Python. And I can issue my custom quote command again. And... Oh, custom quote was not found. All right, uh, was it perhaps quote that was found here? Quote was not found. Well, all right. Uh, random quote. Oh my goodness, this is a custom command. Here, just for ease of my understanding, why don't I have this aliased two different ways? One for quote, one for random quote. Let's try to troubleshoot that, shall we? But before I invoke that, first let me try here. Random quote. All right, so we see if I invoke it once, it does not invoke. If I invoke it two times, three times, four times, it just, it, there's no guarantee that it returns. Um, but now if I invoke it uh, with my bot active, okay, we get a zero printed. And if I call quote, oh, look, something else happened. What is this other thing that happened, I wonder? I probably should know. Um, in wait for timeout error. 
and join channel from off seek from join channels from join channel huh wait did this happen anywhere in how do i trace this back to hmm well regardless we should not be trying to send nothing we should be trying to send something if there is a thing to send uh Oh, enable trace malloc to get the object allocation channel. Yeah, that's a bit much, isn't it? Um, so here we've got our file, quotes.txt. Um, and if I take a look, perhaps I need to move some of this functionality from Wordsmith into the dictionary, even though this is... Or maybe move this into some other file. Um, just something to get a quote, uh, or issue a custom command. Um, hmm. We read the file, split it on new lines, and then call rd.choice on the list of messages. Um, I wonder, I want to print out what are the contents of messages here? I shouldn't need to run the entire application just to do this, but now that we have the entire application running, yeah, here's our array that contains what? What's the format of this? Single. Okay, so there's a quote, and then there's an empty quote at the end. Um, <laughs> do I seriously need to trim the contents of the file, even though there is no trailing new line character? What's with this? Um, that is interesting. F read split new line. Now, I don't think there is a new line character. Uh, e grip new line in quotes. Nope, not literal N. New line character in quotes. Yeah, the new line character. Uh, well, I don't know how to verify that. Possibly this verifies it? No. Possibly the escaped thing? I don't know. But I don't think that there is a new line character in that file. And yet, somehow, when it is read back, um, this... Let's see. F.read. So, open file name with R. Okay, let's try just the open command and some really simple copy wordsmith to test.py, then test, not test dictionary, just test.py. Um, and we don't need the rest of this, uh, these fixtures. Um, but yeah. Instead of open custom commands, we're just going to open quote that text uh, with read and print out this stuff. And that's probably good enough. We don't need the dictionary or the config or this uh, or the custom commands or this or the dictionary or which I O. Yeah. Python test.py. No such file or directory quote.txt. Is it quotes.txt? It's quotes.txt. Alright. Someday the computer will just know what I mean. We're not there yet. Alright, so when I read that, I get a new line character somehow. 
Um, okay. So if we're calling file.read with Python 3, why do we get a new line character? Python 3 file open read. Uh, is this any use? Or is this of any use? Is this useful? Open. Open file name mode. Use this with open. Okay, yeah, that's fair. So the file is suitably closed. Okay. F read, this is the entire file. Um, hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. End is equal to quote. What does end refer to in this? Oh, I'm sorry, this is just print end. Um, if you want to read all the lines, you just use list f. Well, I don't really so much need. Um, it's interesting. Oops. Um, I don't so much need to use. Okay, well, how do I mishmash these examples again? Four line and F. Oh yeah, I could just use list F. Um, now, is there a way to use list F? Yeah. With open. Uh, with open this as F. Print, um, no, message is equal to rd.choice of list of f. Um, and so we can print the message as well as this link. Um, all right, so 268. Oh, right. Um, I'm sorry. I got distracted here. The other thing I wanted to print is not the length of the message, but what happens if I'm trying to get the file as a list? Um, <laughs> really? We're saying that the file as a list is empty? Why would... What? That doesn't make sense. Um, okay, let's try that as two separate passes. Uh, but also, I don't really care about printing this for now. Uh, I just want to see, like, what does the list look like? So this list ends with a new line character. There's no new line character in the file, but the list contains a line, and that line ends with the new line character. All right, oh, that makes sense. So, um, mm -hmm. that makes so much sense. Like, the file has no new line character contained in it, but we still end up with a new line that we don't want. Um, so, do I have to, like, call trim of message? Do I have to call message.trim? How do you do anything in Python? Message.trim is not acceptable. In Python, is it called trim message? Like, what's the deal? It's not called trim. <laughs> How the fuck do you do trim? Surely there's an example somewhere. There's not. Okay. Um, 
read line. I mean, I get that read line's a thing, but I want to iterate through the file as a list comprehension without the trailing new line character. Um, is there some way I can use the file as a list without the trailing new line character that doesn't even exist in the file? Why can't things be simple? I mean, okay, they answered the question of how would I parse a file as a list comprehension, uh, or parse it into a list comprehension, but uh, string trim. We'll just deal with this evil strip. All right, how do you do this? Okay, how do you do this? Okay, it's dot r strip. Might as well do dot strip. Let's try that. There we go. Now there's no trailing new line character. So we've got our example. Um, and we just want to incorporate that example back into the main application at this point. Let's copy these three lines of code, yank3, uh, next file, um, print context. I mean, nowhere else do we print this context. We don't really need to print it here. And then just have to make sure um, I'm sorry, the context here is the command we're trying to execute. Let's actually print that. Um, and then we'll say instead of f is equal to that, we'll say let's open the file with write permissions. Um, as identifier f. Um, no need to parse that. No need to print all the messages. No need to select a message from the list that we've already selected one from. Um, oh, that's the one thing we're wanting to do here. Uh, there we go. Problem solved. And less than a billion lines of code. Nice. So that should work. That should address the bug that I've been encountering the last week and other people have observed as well. That wasn't so bad. Um, um hmm. Is there anything else we want to print out? How often do we print contents here? Print length of message, print length of message. Okay, fine. We can continue printing the length of the response. That's okay. Um, at least that'll identify which response got printed in the case that not all the responses in the file are the same length and uh, each length might indicate a response depending how big the file is anyway um yeah that looks sensible to me that's a lot of abstractions to stick on one line of code um Is there some way I could make this less or easier to support or less error prone? Yeah, I guess we could define the list separate of the selector and the separate of the strip operation. Even if it's a very short lived variable. Um, that's probably fine. 
it's really the choice versus the strip here that's most likely to encounter an error. But, um, well, I don't know. I think I've separated uh, possible causes of error to at least multiple lines of code in many cases here, so. Um, get div cache will show me here's the changes that we're about to commit. Looks fine to me. Python, not that. Python wordsmith. And now if we do quote, there we go. Mission accomplished. Length 267 got printed. Status. Uh, hit commit. Do not drop. Uh, nope. Ignore trailing new line when uh, printing a custom quote. Uh, this probably makes sense. No. Um, doing custom command parse. Um, uh, ignore is the wrong word. Uh, it's not just the trailing new line either. There we go. Strip white space. Boom. All right, hit push. And let's see. Um, how do I want to handle this? I guess I'll just copy it into my clipboard and we'll log on the remote server. Observe that, you know, a system restarts required to apply patches. Ignore that for now. Okay, take our code that we dropped into the clipboard and dump it in place here. And there we go. I'll restart. And now if I call custom, no, if I call random quote, there we go. Mission accomplished. Um, Right. And we could remove the test.py we temporarily created. Custom commands doesn't need quote in there separately. Uh, so we can restore that too. Mission accomplished. We're now able to use uh, the wordsmith bot without having to um, repeatedly uh, issue the quote command. Now we can actually um, get a quote response. And this also has some better exception handling for the case where maybe the file doesn't exist or it exists and then somebody deletes the file in the middle of us reading it or any kind of crazy thing that could happen. At least now there's... I'm sorry, if some exception happens after we load the file, that's what we're guarding against. That but we're not going to leave the file open forever. Um, not that there was any real risk of that anyway, but now, just as a formality, we close the file when we're done with it. Um, yeah, <laughs> now that I think more about it, that should not be indented. Uh, yeah, after we've defined messages, we're done. All three of these lines really don't need to be indented at all. Uh, so now I'm curious. If I take out this indentation, does the code still work? Um, probably. But does it? Let me know. <laughs> what are the odds that the code still works? Um, I mean, you're supposed to write a test for this, but this is easy enough to test through this AP, uh, the Twitch chat API that we're just going to go for it. So we note that define AA still works. And uh, random quote, yep, 
I get a response of length 267. So um, you weren't able to see the Define AA works unless you're glancing at the bottom. But yeah, we got our quote response, even with the indentation a little bit different. So, oops. Uh, so with that said, do something I don't normally do. Uh, which is overwrite my commit history. Um, and that's okay. So we'll go back up to GitHub and see that now we more eagerly, um, we're more eager about closing the file when we're done with it. We only need the file just long enough to construct the list of messages that we read out of the file. Now, there might be a more eager way to handle this. Like, if you have an enormous file, probably parsing the entire file into a list is probably not efficient. Um, I'm not saying that's what we're doing right now. I'm just saying if you happen to have an enormous file, this is probably not suitable for that. You'd want to have a way to select a random line in the file without um, the resorting to loading the entire file into memory. But that's not where we're at, so I don't care. You just print out the length of the message and then print the message, etc. Otherwise, uh, handle the command as if it's not a custom command. Um, yeah, so I'll deploy that indentation change at my convenience or never to my cloud instance. That's fine. But either way, um, yeah, this should fix the issue that other streamers had experienced with the uh, wordsmith bot. Um, as for why my fork is still called Wordsmith, and this one's not uh, from Danielle Barker, um, you know, we'll, we'll eventually get in touch, see if we can agree on some kind of name for it. I think she's open-minded to whatever we want to call it. In my mind, Wordsmith seems like a useful explanation of what the word, what the bot does, and really, there's no name you can give this bot that's not already taken in some way. But Wordsmith seems to be the most unique descriptor of exactly what this bot is doing that does not collide with some other similarly purposed application. So that's why I've selected this, but we'll see uh, what she thinks. And if we have to, we can change it. That's fine. <laughs>